to do you or have you is something that keeps you anxious, keeps you awake during the night. Something that you're worried about or concerned about. Probably all of you have some like worries or head. You might have different ways to deal with them, but at some point of your life, you probably have something that you worry about. Well, I found technique that was very helpful for me, and you might find the benefit from it as well. So a few weeks ago, I met with my friend Sarah and my height, dark hair, such a good listener, good friend, we have been. And entering the cafe that I was supposed to meet her, I saw her sitting in the middle, almost like running toward her. Sarah, I decided to quit my job. And Sarah, just jumping out of the chair, and without a word, she just gave me a hug. She knew the story about what's going on, just looking exhausted and tired due to the lack of sleep. I told Sarah, Sarah, I couldn't sleep at all a couple days. Sophia, oh, where's your mouth? Why are you so concerned? Well, Sarah, I was never not having a job before since college. Well, Sophia, you have been working hard. You need your break. Well, but still, Sarah, I don't know, like, you know, what if I can't make payments for my mortgages? Well, Sophia, you have some savings, and the worst case scenario, you can lease out your place. But one after another, still, the concerns and the worries in my head, it was spinning in my brain. And Sarah saw that. She was looking into my eyes, she put her hands on my hands softly. Sophia, when you go home, maybe you can take time to write down your worries. So I took a couple hours with her. I came home, but still, disturbing Sophia was not convinced by what it meant. She suggested writing, but what's it going to do to, you know, with my worries? But not feeling like doing anything, just sitting on the couch, not motivated to do anything. But still, I didn't want to waste my time. So I decided to listen to something motivating. I found Tim Ferriss on YouTube, my favorite entrepreneur, and I found his speech. Cool, instantly, he was talking about, well, he is the well-known author of Four Hour Workbook. If you didn't have a chance to read, that's just such a great book. And he also had a book, um, Tool of Titan. And it was the speech right after he wrote the first book, The Four Hour Work Week. And just like me, as a workaholic, he was suffer uh, suffocating himself with work for four hours. And it was right before he decided to take a break. As a workaholic, just the thought of being away from work it made me crazy. Not being able to sleep, not being able to eat. He realized he had to do something about it. So, coincidentally, he was talking about the technique of writing, but he was very specific. He created fear setting instead of goal setting. So it's exactly the same as goal setting, but instead of goal, you can put fear. And actually, in his, in his speech, he laid out four steps you can practically apply. In the first step, what if, what if scenario that concerns you? And in the second step, what's gonna happen under this scenario? So once you are clear with your concerns, you know, what if, you know, what's gonna happen? Then in the next step, you can write down what can you do to prevent such cases? And then in the last step, if you cannot still prevent the situation, what can you do to repair 
So, while listening to Tim, actually driven me study writing according to that guidance. What if the case was getting the job, not giving me a break, and still getting nervous, and like still spinning my wheel? Then what's going to happen under this scenario? Well, like I'm not taking good break and not having a job, not making payment for my mortgage. That's my scenario. Then what can I do to prevent this situation? I can keep the network, I can read, I can write, I can travel to refresh myself. Something that I can do to be productive during this time. The last step, what can I do to repair if that my prevention action item doesn't work out? Then I can come back and look for another job. So you might be wondering, so this writing technique, does it help you to remove your old worries? Well, of course not. My worries are still there. But one big realization is that while I'm doing that, I realize a lot of concerns in my brain are figurable. And out of 100 worries, I was able to narrow down the specific concerns that I can focus on. Am I going to lose my condo? Probably not. It's very remote. So those concerns are gone. And while I'm writing step three and four, what can I do to prevent? What can I do to repair? My focus has shifted from concern to the action items that I can do. So do you have, do you face any difficult choices or decisions in your life? Do you have anything that by writing down your fears might be more helpful than writing your goal. When you are writing, it's going to give you a tool to focus your, shift your focus on the solutions rather than worries. As Tim Ferriss mentioned in his speech, you are living in, you are suffering in your imagination more than you, your reality. Thank <laughs> you.